Virgo, welcome to your month in review for July. Just in time for pickup crew. It's pickup day. Yay. <laughs> Apologies for the additional background noise, although there's nothing I can do about it still. All right, what's going on? We are doing July. Can you believe that? Mm. I know it. Show me Virgo in July. Show me Virgo in July. Show me Virgo in July. Okay. Show me Virgo in July. Oh, 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 okay. A little bit fussy there. Like always, take it resonates, leave it does not. Okay. But do keep in mind, these are general readings. They may not resonate at all. Normal. Check your other placements. If that's the case, you will find yourself in there somewhere. Show me Virgo in July. Okay. Like always, we're going to put down your baseline, clarify it, and then towards the end, I will put down oracles as well. Let's see what's going on for you. Queen of Cups. Okay. Eight of Pentacles. Ten of Wands. You know, labor of Love. Knights of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and King of Pentacles. Although, somebody else just entered the board, so at this point, I like to tell people... Reverse those energies as you see fit. Tower. Six of Swords. Two of Pentacles. Something you were convinced you could never move on from. That's just not true. Okay. Queen of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Wands. Right away you're, you're telling me that you have a kind of love of the game energy. Okay. Your heart's full. More so for the practicals in day-to-day -day life. Uh, in that respect of I love what I do. But sometimes, you know, Christina gets hard. Ten of Wands. Okay. We'll clarify further and see if there's any more context to that that runs a little bit more deeper. Otherwise, you know, why would else would be seeing it? But uh, yeah, I'm going to jump on over here. Knight to Pentacles a little further out. Okay, I have a King of Cups and a King of Pentacles. Now, they might both be you. I'm just not seeing it this way. I'm seeing it as two individuals. But again, we'll see. The Tower, Six of Swords, Two of Pentacles. Oh boy, something we assumed we could never deal with, we could never handle, we could never get over or leave... Turns out that's not true. Okay. So the tower is the coming down of false beliefs, expectations, um, illusions, delusions. They got built up way too high and it needed to come down. That tower can vary in size in terms of intensity, meaning, importance, but they're all valuable. Okay. So let's start right with that queen of cups. I may not clarify all these. Some will speak for themselves as we move along. Let's see that queen of cups. Show me 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 that Queen of Cups, please. Knights of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, and the Page of Swords. Okay. As you continue to move along in your particular direction, that already seems to be well underway. Um, obviously, this is not July 1st. Your working endeavors and your practicals are already in play. They have a particular flow of motion attached to them. Um, there's something else in your heart that's not allowed to play right now, but you, you, you think about it. You don't do anything with it, but you think about it. Uh, Queen of Wands, Page of Swords, there's just an idea that you could grow into a kind of level of feeling for passion, ambition, creativity. So while your heart space naturally flows into a direction that's very comfortable for you, your sense of passion and oomph and drive and creativity is still a small concept you don't give too much life to, not yet. What your reasons are, don't know, perhaps just because things are heavy right now. But there's a sense of I would like to grow into that energy, to feel more passionate, to feel more alive, to use my fire for me, and not just all about work, work, work. Okay? I feel you. I hear you. That is all one person. Let's jump in that Eight of Pentacles. You're like, man, I would really love to grow into some passion. <laughs> Get in tune with my creative side. Or, if I, or frankly, just feeling better. You know? Reinvesting into you, your own particular energy, okay? Feeling good about you, yeah? Let's see the Eight of Pentacles, please. Let's see the Eight of Pentacles, maybe. 
It could be that you're keeping your eye on a special someone uh, just that represents those qualities of passion and beauty and, and uh, that kind of thing. Creativity. Um, I don't know. I'm not there yet. But I think it's you. I think there's a part of you that wants to come out and play and get reacquainted with that side. Because it's like, I don't have time for that right now. <laughs> your mind is never far from it. It's there. Six of cups, eight of cups, and death. Okay. You're closing something down. I, I, this is me. I just, I just, I just want to put this down. I, I got to put this down. Let's, it has nothing to do with me. It, it, it's, it's just what's here. Okay. So this is me. Uh, we're walking away from something. It's, it's, it's over, uh, particularly your investment in it. Eight of pentacles for earth signs. When you show me personal constructs with 3d energy attached to it, more often than not, it represents the time, energy and effort you put into it. It's very normal for earth signs. Uh, typically, earth will build whole worlds around what they love, but the idea is, is that it needs to be connected. It has to have meaning. It has to be treasured and valued like my own time, energy, and effort that went into it. Otherwise, I, I won't continue to construct my reality around it. Again, very earthian. Um, there's a feeling here that has long since passed between two people. So the idea of you putting any more realistic work into this seems to be a no-go. I'm sure that there's a whole backstory into it. Oh, I'm sure. Even if you don't identify this person as a soul bond, there's a good chance they are. That meant they're meant to be in your life for a reason. There's a point of influence. Okay. You shared many memory with this person. I have no doubt. Okay. You put a lot of your good quality, constructive work into this relationship work. And this took time. Eight of Pentacles takes time. Okay. It wasn't a couple pages. It was a couple years more or right, that kind of thing this construct is coming to an end so that would kind of explain to me that while you love what you do a part of you is looking to wake up because you understand this exit's already happening and probably has been in the works for a while okay i was curious about your curiosity element here but you're saying this is going to take time to shut this down Right, because you're kind of showing me what I just told you. This kind of factory didn't set itself up overnight. Therefore, we have to dismantle it carefully. But you're saying as far as the emotional attachment, it's it's gone. And I can't reasonably continue to put myself into this. I I agree with you. Let's say that Ten of Wands. Um, I get the idea. But we're going to go ahead and touch on it anyway, just in case. Ten of Wands. Show me that Ten of Wands. Show me that Ten of Wands. Um... What I'm looking at here, this is not new news to Virgo. It's not like, oh, July 3rd came and July 4th, freedom, woohoo! No, no, no. This, this was a layering process of withdrawing one's emotionality and then therefore real world endeavors around it. One or both sides. Okay. Let's say that Ten of Wands. In other words, I'm not telling you anything you don't know. So you already know right away within less than 10 minutes if this is yours. Let's see that Ten of Wands, some of that Ten of Wands, some of that Ten of Wands. True, all timelines are different in terror. You might be able to identify with this a year or two out. That's not the point. The Virgo I'm looking at kind of understands this now. Okay. And in a year or two from now, if you can recognize yourself in it, you'll know absolutely at that moment in time. Okay. Let's see that Ten of Wands. The Moon. Page of Cups, the world. Uh, you know where the real weight came from, honey? Was the real weight came from carrying this much longer than you knew you should have done. That's where this sense of hardship. I knew it was gonna. I knew I could skip it, but I didn't because uh, I, I wanted to touch upon this point. I had a feeling it was gonna come up, and spirit got to it too. Uh, the Moon, Page of Cups, and the world. The real heaviness here comes from carrying the pretense of emotion for this much longer than this thing's life cycle. That's where the real weight comes in. You're making the cleanup and the withdrawal of your participation, particularly at the emotional level, you're making it look easy. Like you do this all the time. Grant you, I grant you, there's a good chance you've had experience with this before. Earth tends to be pretty, okay, when it's time to stop, it's time to stop. It will take you guys forever to get there, but when you do, the shutdown process looks easy. I bet there's some people like, how did you, how did you separate so fast? How did you clean up the details so fast? So when Earth wants to, 
you will. Do you know how much it takes you to get to that point? Okay. How long you've been carrying this burden, I don't know. But like I said, the real weight, the real pressure came from not acknowledging what should have happened sooner. And I think that's true for a lot of people. I don't care what your element is or your sign for that matter is. You keep on with this feeling, I want to shut this out, but I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to carry it. I can carry this weight forever. I'm sure you believe that three years ago. I'm sure you believed it less two years ago, and I'm sure you believed it even less a year ago, and here we are today. Okay. So this is a truth that, yes, secretly, I've been wanting to do this for a long time. I should have cycled this out a long time ago, and that's where the real weight came from. So I'm glad we took a minute to stop and look at that. Um, that's why you're making it look easy. You're more prepared for this separation than you know. So take that with you. I do hope it helps. Yeah, you're going to make it look easy. Cause you, and you know why I know you're okay? It's because your heart's okay. You're saying, I'm still moving forward in a particular path. I'm still good with my work constructs. Parts of me are looking to open up again. But I can't do it right away. I mean, there was a reason why, right? Knights of Pentacles, you are very steady paced, aren't you? When you want to keep your head down and focused, you will. <laughs> like I said, earth signs can make that look easy, but you guys, if you're not earth, or let's say earth is one of your minor placements, and that could very well be, or perhaps Virgo is, it, it takes a lot to understand that for you guys. So when you start withdrawing your participation, particularly emotional level. Some of you have, yeah, some heavy earth in that chart. <laughs> Maybe a touch of berries. When you know you, you start taking the necessary strides to disentangle yourself from that particular way of life or whatever it is that you were doing, you make it look easy. You don't see how much led up to it, though. I see that Knight of Pentacles, please. Show me that Knight of Pentacles. Show me that Knight of Pentacles. Show me that Knight of Pentacles, please. Again, briefly, I'm going to touch on this one. I don't want to stay there too long. I think it speaks for itself. You already showed me a steady-paced energy that surrounds you. Uh, you're typically someone who likes to plan and be cautious. The Ace of Wands, there's your new beginning, despite the hardship of the ending. Ten of Wands, the Four of Pentacles. You're still showing me that it's hard to move forward, but you are determined to do so. Uh, that's because some of this is still dragging on you, even though you are prepared to exit this. You're saying it's it's not helpful to you that you still have an energy sort of attached to you that's that's slowly still dragging its heels on this particular situation. So while you are showing me more preparedness to exit it, that doesn't mean the situation's necessarily prepared to be done with you. So just to let you know that Ten of Wands is going to carry over for a minute while you continue to move yourself forward. You do want a new beginning. You do feel it. There's that part of you that was starting to grow just a little bit. Uh, but whatever this is, is not as prepared for the exit as you. Okay. Just to let you know. I want you to continue to move forward if that's what's right for you. Okay. I'm not going to say it's easy. But there's something here about I can't wait further. Or I won't. You seem to be much more prepared to make this exit. But that Ten of Wands is still holding on to you a little bit. Who knows? Sense of obligation. I don't know. I don't know. I wish I could just tell you to throw it off your back because you've been wanting to do this for years. Um, but I just see you continuing to move forward, trying to keep that good energy at the first and foremost of what you're doing. So just be prepared. That's going to be a little bit more like a stone around your neck for a minute. All right, let's see that King of Cups, please. Let's see that King of Cups. Let's see that King of Cups. Gosh, just when you think you're done with the weight. Nope. <laughs> Turns out the weight's not done with you. Not yet. 
But there's something about you that's like, I have to keep going. I have to keep going. Let's say this King of Cups, please. Show me this King of Cups. Show me this King of Cups. Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups. Strong sense of self right here. Ooh, who is that? Strong sense. It could be you. But like I said, I got two people here. A strong sense of self. This is like, this is who I am. And I like it. I admire it a lot because, you know, I try to practice this too. Sense of fullness of heart. Uh, I claim what I feel. You know, right? No misgivings about how I feel. Uh, Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups, the Queen of Pentacles. This person has a very strong sense of individuation, autonomy, and I'm very proud of it too. But they're also showing me that they're home-centered. This is someone who has a lot of skills in terms of practicality, nurturing, strong sense of loving, but also only because I want to. Only because I want to. So that takes a lot about uh, knowing oneself. Uh, this person is full of love and a strong sense of nurturing. Very strong. So even though it's coming across as masculine emotional definition, this person takes a great deal of emotional strength in knowing who they are, and they only provide the best of themselves by choice. And it's like, if you can't choose, then there's no point. So this person's like, I take full ownership of all choices. Uh, they love themselves, which is good strong sense of self. I can stand on my own two feet. I can take care of myself too. And like, if I choose to take care of someone else, it's because it's my choice. It's my love. It's my choice. It's very strong ownership. And they're, they're they don't mess around. They can, well, they do what they say they're going to do. They're, they're quite comfortable in their own right. They seem to have done well for themselves. So it's looking like they don't do what they don't mean. There we go. We want someone like that. Strong state of will and independence. Beautiful. Open heart, too. But they're like, everything I do, I do by choice. I can love and nurture you, but it has to be by choice. You know? Well, gee, it's no wonder you're not trying to hold yourself back too much more. <laughs> oh, goodness. <laughs> Who wouldn't be attracted to that? You know? That one's by invitation only. <laughs> <laughs> but that's good. This is someone who knows themselves. That means they're highly consolidated. And who knows? They seem to take care of themselves really well. It seems to be one of their... You ever met somebody who's house proud? Well, this is someone who's kind of like house proud, but individual pr uh, proud. Like, I'm fine on my own. And if I love you, it's because I choose to. Um, so that's good. Let's see that King of Pentacles. I like it when people show me independent natures. I do. That means they know themselves and they're not afraid to be alone. Right? Strong standards. You want somebody with strong standards, honey. Um, and there's a reason why. It's like, no matter this weight that's hanging around your neck, because it's not clearing up as perhaps in a state of preparedness that you are, you're more prepared to leave this behind than it is you, as I've said. You're just like, are you still marching forward? I, I, I think I see why. <laughs> I, I, I think I see why. Uh, and I am sorry that there's that weight that's still attached to you. Um, it that sucks. I don't know the conditions for which it will fully clear for you. There's a weight of attached responsibility that um, is taking longer to clear up on that one. I don't know what it is. But it's like you're saying, nevertheless, I must persist. I will not be deterred. Um, I got to move forward. Okay. Let's see that King of Pentacles. Show me that King of Pentacles. Show me that King of Pentacles. That might explain the bottom row what I'm saying here. You never thought you'd be able to fully leave this behind. Um, you might be able to. So part of you knew that this would cling for a while. Okay. Okay. Queen of Swords. The High Priestess. Temperance. Look at you. Look at you. Look at you, you little badass. Look at you. Look at you. Queen of Swords. The High Priestess. Temperance. Ooh. We're matching energies, are we? I like it. You are matching energies with this person. Man, no wonder you got focused. You got so focused so fast. It is unbelievable. Look at that. You you had to be somewhere else and you knew it. Queen of Swords, the High Priestess, you acknowledge it intellectually. You felt it intuitively. And the part of you that wants to feel healed, whole, and complete wants to be here. Just like this person says they know themselves, you're like, me too. I know this is where I'm supposed to be. 
So bravo to you too, because you're saying I acknowledge this. I feel it. I'm set up for it. Patience. So you're like, I can't wait to get here. You're like uh, in very typical King and Queen of Pentacles fashion. Once they claim something, they put themselves into it, right? You're saying, I'm here. And let's let's match energies. Let's let's match. <laughs> what am I trying to say? Let's ma let's get a, oh, you and me. We're gonna, we're gonna get on the same page. Let's yes yes yes. Let's get on the same page. Let's let's love, nurture, care, support each other. I'm all for that. Let's let's do it. Let's oh yeah. You you get so much on the same page with this person. Wow. Look at that. The same way you knew you had to exit this. You just. The only shame is that it took you so long for you to really realize it. To, well, this is where I needed to be. Um, look at this. Look at that. 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 You know yourself really well just as much as this person does. And you're like, oh, I'm all about that same page with this person. Yes. Yes. <laughs> wow, it's so much, there's so much feeling, there's so much good feeling, so much good insight, so quality. Oh, that's the word I'm looking for, there's so much quality there between you two, so much quality for love, nurturing, caring, un understanding, compassion, and insight. Um, there's so much quality between these two figures, it's, it's unbelievable, yeah, no ma matching, so much, it's beautiful, oh, it's beautiful, oh, it's beautiful, it's such high quality. Uh, both of you bring an A-game towards this. Wow. Okay, let's jump on down here. The tower, something we always assumed we could never leave, that we'd always be undecided about, confused about. You're like, wow, turns out it is possible to leave it. So that's what I'm saying. I saw it right here, the shadows of doubts. The heaviness comes from understanding you wanted to do this for a long time, but you wouldn't allow yourself to see it. I got it. Let's see that tower. I don't know what this is to you, except it strongly rec... It's, it strongly represents an absence of love where it used to exist. But it's been gone for a long time. Show me the tower, please. Show me the tower. Show me the tower. Show me that tower, please, for Virgo. Show me the tower, please. It is again, King of Pentacles, Temperance. Lots of healing there. Loving yourself, understanding your self-worth specifically. Some of you had to get on board with that. What does it mean to honor that self-worth? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's do one more. Show me that tower, please. Eight of Wands, the devil. I'm glad you parted ways with it. Uh, it's no wonder it feels like it's a stone around your neck. Um, whatever this is does not give easily. It wants to hold on to you or cling on to you for dear life. Um, that's not necessarily love. It's just a sense of... Um, you, you've seen it correctly for what it is. Um, This is something that you felt if you had left it, you would always feel bad about it. Come to discover that's not true. That was the devil talking, but also it ran both ways. There's something about this that made you feel that if you left it, you would always regret it. It worked both ways, I promise. So not only did you feel it, I believe whatever it is you're leaving behind played into it. Which means it became something towards the end, more about emotional codependency and getting it twisted. Um, and for a while there, for a long time, I bet you believed you you couldn't. If you did, disaster would strike. It would be nothing but the worst for you. Predictions upon bad predictions upon bad predictions. And somebody else helped reinforce it. It's working both ways, that devil is. But it was all false. What it is that you believe for a while and what they 
kind of played into it was false on both sides. It's, it was false emotional code. No, no. You're going to, P.S., by the way, um, this is going to be hard for you at first until, again, you realize the opposite's true. You're going to have to shut down communication with it permanently. Um, I think it has every plan or intention to remain a stone around your neck as a constant reminder to what was. Uh, wouldn't it be so nice to prove it wrong? <laughs> Not only am I doing very well without this situation, I'm exceeding all expectations too. Thank you so much for your dire predictions. You, how long have you been wanting to end this cycle? Yeah. It, you're going to have to forcibly... It's, some, it's going to provoke old guilt wounds. Let me get that clear with you right now. It's going to provoke old guilt wounds. The very thing that helped keep you in check for as long as it did. <clears throat> but once you stop talking with it and you move forward under that conviction to stop entertaining the negative emotions with it, it's going to be a lot easier to leave this behind. Again, it's another notion that you can do away with sooner rather than later. Don't feed the monster. And don't feed those negative parts of you. Let's say you will fail, etc. Let's see that Six of Swords. Show me that Six of Swords. Moving away from the instability and the confusion. There it is again. Mm -hmm. Let's see that Six of Swords. Calmer waters. I hope so. I should dang well hope so. Let's see that Six of Swords. Let's see that Six of Swords. Three of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Five of Cups. I told you, whatever this is, don't, don't try to cooperate with it. It's... I, I wouldn't even entertain it as a friendship. It's it's representing loss that you're going to have to just kind of take that one on the chin. It's going to represent a loss, but you knew that when you started methodically working through it in order to free yourself. Um, again, going back to the real reason you're exhausted is keeping up with the pretense that you had every intention of keeping it going. Part of that was fear-based. That was also external. Okay. I promise you that fear was leaned into, pressed upon, played into, however you want to put it. It's not true. I'm happy to report. Universe is happy to report. Uh, but you are going to have to. It, I, I can't tell you what to do. I, I'm saying you are going to have to if you want the kind of peace you want while you're um, so busy over here harmonizing and being on the same page with somebody. <laughs> Brilliantly, I'd like to point out once more. You're going to have to advocate your own independence on this one. Um, shut down the lines of communication and even the pretense of, of friendship. And you're going to say it has to be left there. This is where I'm drawing that line. I won't cross back over it. It's it's in the past. It's behind me now. Um, you might call it a friendship and goodwill in the effort to say that you're participating correctly if you have to. But if you don't have to, I would say shut it down and just take that one on the chin. It's like, I'm sorry it turned out this way, but also, no, you're not. I want you to stop apologizing for whatever this is. Mostly, I want you to stop apologizing to yourself. If that wanted to be where you are, I wouldn't have seen what I saw. Let me rephrase that. If it wanted to be where you are in a way that was healthy, loving, and constructive, it would have done so as well as you. But being loving, constructive, and healthy does not mean I'm going to... It's, it's hard. It's hard to make this work, but I can keep it going. That's, that's not what that means, right? I'm going to go ahead and tap into that Two of Pentacles real quick. Show me that Two of Pentacles. Show me that Two of Pentacles. Show me that Two of Pentacles. Three of Wands, King of Wands, Ace of Wands. That that you remember that reference point back here where I saw a little part of you was so small, like it was hiding. Wanted to know when it could come out, 
and uh, feel alive again. Yeah, <laughs> when you stop messing around with that, <laughs> when it's done, uh, you're going to slide back into an old fire feeling you haven't felt in a long time. Remember that Ace of Wands that I saw you, despite the heaviness that still seems to be determined to keep itself attached to you. Once you stop allowing that in any way in your life to participate, you will access this Ace of Wands freely. No problem. In other words, continue on with whatever this is. I saw no disruption of flow in that. In fact, I just see it becoming brighter. It just, it gets brighter. Because now you're not carrying the pretense of even in the smallest of ways of calling this friendship. Once you stop doing that, you seem to access that Ace of Wands fully. And that one we were like, huh, I'd like to grow back into that. You do. It was a matter of time in this respect, but we have to stop entertaining whatever this is because it, it drags you back into the past. Or rather, not just the past, but what it is you've just recently dedicated to leaving behind. We're gonna have to stop fussing with it. It doesn't want to be fixed and it doesn't want to cooperate. It will take every opportunity it has to give you this idea, this hint, this old flavor you got used to swallowing or smelling that it will fail. It's not true. That's the devil's only job. And here's the thing, that's the advantage of the devil, guys. He don't change his tune. She don't change her tune. The devil is the devil is the devil. And that's why you can use your devil to your advantage, assuming you know what it is. Uh, so I'm saying, all cards in tarot, like all people, all elements have pros and cons. When you know what your devil is, it can't fool you anymore. It will never change. But that's also the advantage. Guys, that's every video game ever written anywhere. It always has a determined outcome. The big boss or the sub boss, they're all devils. That means they all have one job. And that job don't change. That's your advantage to defeating the boss or whatever it is if you've ever played games. It's, it's tune don't change. You know what it is. And once you know what your devil is, it stops being a devil. <laughs> Don't play into it anymore. Um, this, I want to continue on. It's just getting started. It, it barely started tipping the scales for you in July. Uh, your two's glowing attitude to show up for each other and the boast of what you both have to offer is resplendent for you. And it's just getting started. Whatever that is has just, it hasn't even begun its tipping process yet into the full on what it is. I just see you taking off in that ace well, now without any sense of being held back. So that's just unfolding. I barely got to scratch the surface of it, but it's beautiful. Um, but the biggest point here is that you understanding your freedom means including or understanding your sanity, what it is that you deserve. And I want you, like this person, to throw yourself into everything that's good and right about you because it is. Isn't that beautiful? It's just getting started. It's just getting started, Virgo. Oh my gosh. Your willingness to line up with this, to heal yourself towards it. Um, I don't know. It's just so wonderful. Oh my goodness. The sacred pool. Some of you have reflection points in your life where you meditate. And for some of you, it might literally be a pool, a river, a lake. I don't know. But there's something about it that draws you. And it's just you. And you reflect upon it. You reflect upon your reflection. Everything you see in there, your experiences, your emotionality, everything, and it's sacred to you. Keep that space just for you. It's a good space for you to relax, unfold, heal, and meditate upon. Number 47. Peaks of joy. Some of you just want to leap off that peak. Peaks of joy. A spark. That's what I'm saying. Spark. There it is. Spark. 33 and 34 back to back. Peaks of joy. It's just begun to spark. Just begun to spark, whatever that is. There's Cupid's arrow taking the form of the violin, but specifically the bow. We associate our love with this person, or you will, with music. I don't know if they're new or old to you. You just seem to have a very outstanding idea of who they are and what they're about. That's all I know. It sparks. Person sparks your heart. Peaks of joy. You've never felt a high like it in your life. The way that music's firing off. Cupid's bow firing off that music. The muse, the muse energy. 
inspirations of music. Something that inspires you. Here's the funny word about Muse and how much it's taken for granted. Did you ever listen to or hear the word or see the word for what it is in the museum? The idea of being all great works of art were inspired by love. Yeah, all, but you get the idea. Even if it's love of humanity, it's not the point. There's a muse. Be it music or an art or the written word, whatever it is, there's a muse. Music. The muse. The muse. The muse is a harsh mistress. <laughs> not for the faint of heart. It's, you're like, I can, I can handle that muse. I would love to handle that muse. That's an awesome muse. I would love to. <laughs> but it's so same page. It stands so next, so secure next to that energy. It's fantastic. The first, the, excuse me, the first breath. Oh, for somebody with a lisp, that's a hell of a thing to say. First breath, uh, the beginner's mind starting over. Number 21, also indicative of the cycle or the world. Your first breath. It's like taking the breath of new life once you exit the cycle. I understand. 21 for some of you might be a number of significance we have a mindful group think 40 you know there's that mindful group think i saw back here something about i should have done this a long time ago and i regret that i didn't the wailing tree i told my wailing tree it has the word reconciliations when people understand reconciliation bringing something together over and over again or forcing it to stay together it's a reconciliation but it's the kind that causes harm Because that tree of life isn't so fruitful, it feels like it's on fire. We're keeping ourselves rooted to something that causes us harm, the wailing tree. It's a place of mourning, not life. Number 59. I don't know why that number just, stood, just jumped out at me, 59. I have no idea. 21, 40, 59. For some of you, it represents a certain age that you will be or you're about to be. I don't know. Okay, anyway, Virgo honey, I hope this helped you. Congratulations. Take care. Be well.